Hey guys, in this video, let us learn how to sort the elements of a list with comparator using lambda expressions. For this, the domain model that we will be using is book. Let us get started. I am in my Eclipse. My project is ready. Now let us create a new class. Select SRC, right click, new class. Let me give the package name as com.training.sort. Let us have the class name as book. Now let me add few properties for this book class. So we can have the instance variable as title, author, book ID, price and category. For this we need to have a default constructor. Let us have a parameterized constructor because we are going to add a set of books. Uh, get a set of methods and two string. So go to source. Generate constructor using fields. Go to source. Generate constructor from super class. That is the default constructor. Then go and add get a set of methods. Select all. Click generate. And go to source. Generate to string. Okay. Now let us create the main class. Select your package. Right click new class. Let me give the class name as book main. This has public static void main. Click finish. Okay. First we need to create a list of books. Let me use the method arrays dot as list. Within which I need to add few book objects. Let me add it. I will be using the parameterized constructor. New book of title, book ID, author, category and price. So let me add few book objects. Now I have added a list of books. The return type of this is list of book. Books is equal to import list and arrays. This is from java.util package. To sort the list of books, we need to use the method collections.sort. This is a static method. It has got two methods. We need to go in for the second overloaded method, which has two parameters. The first parameter is the list. In our case, it is list of books. The second parameter is an interface, comparator. You need to provide the implementation of comparator. If you have worked with comparator already, you know that you need to create a class that implements comparator and you have to provide implementation. Then you have to pass that particular object. That is the object of the class that implements comparator. Now we will be using lambda expressions. Okay. So the first parameter is books. The second parameter should be an object of the class that implements comparator. Now we will be using lambda expression. Before jumping into lambda expressions, let us quickly create a class that implements this comparator. So that when you are implementing lambda expressions, it will be easier for you to compare. Let me create a class. I want to sort the books by title. So let me give the class name as title sort that implements comparator. You need to pass the generic type. In our case, it is book curly braces. Now implement the method. Add unimplemented methods. The method is compare. Within this, you need to write the logic to compare the titles of both the books O1 and O2. So let me write the logic over here. O1 dot get title dot compare to O2 dot get title. Internally the comparison happens. In our case we are trying to compare two strings. If you click on compare to it will go to the compare to method of the string class. Let me do control click. So here the proper comparison happens. Lexicographically each and every word is compared. Okay. This returns an int value. If both the names are same it will return 0. If the first one is higher in the alphabetical order it will return 1. If the first one is lower in the alphabetical order it will return minus 1. Now we have implemented comparator. If we are using this methodology without lambda expressions that is sorting using a class then 
first is you need to create an object of the class either you can write it as interface reference is equal to implementation class or you can create an object of the class directly title sort title sort is equal to new title sort okay and now i have to pass this as parameter the second parameter is the object of the class that implements comparator okay once this is done now we can iterate the list of books and print it if you are comfortable with streams api you can use for each method but as of now i will go in for the legacy for each here it should be title sort the object of the class that implements comparator okay it's giving me an error because book class is not saved let me save all all the errors are gone let me run it so the books are getting sorted by title now let us move on to the next step we will sort the books using lambda expression sort using lambda okay let me write the same method collections dot sort i am selecting the second method the first parameter is the books the second parameter is the object of the class that implements comparator comparator is a functional interface now i need to implement it using lambda expression so how to do that let me just write it over here comparator book comp is equal to now i need to implement comparator what is the method in comparator it is compare method which takes two parameters in case of lambda expression you don't have to bother about the access specifier no return type no method name just the parameter list so let me copy it come back and i will add it over here and you don't even have to specify the data type so i can remove this so technically you need to copy this parameter back what you have got now arrow method body ended with a semicolon return o1 dot get title dot compare to o2 dot get title ended with a semicolon now directly i can pass this as parameter what you have provided is just the implementation of comparator so this is implementation of comparator earlier you have used a class that implements comparator but now you have implemented comparator using lambda expression okay now let me add a dummy println statement in between let us use the same for each to iterate and print the elements let me run it now here we have got the output okay what if i want to do reverse sorting i can go in for o2 dot get title dot compare to o1 dot get title let me run it again this time we will be getting the list of books with title sorted in reverse order okay let us make it still more simple so i will leave this let us sort the list of books by author and we will try to do it in one single line let me add a dummy printl and statement siso sort by author okay let us use the same method collections dot sort the first parameter is our list let me pass books the second parameter is the object of the class that implements comparator so here we have done it separately and we have passed that variable instead i can write the logic over here itself as in round bracket o1 comma o2 arrow method body return o1 dot get author dot compare to o2 dot get author end it with a semicolon now in our case our logic is only one single line so in this scenario you don't have to use the return statement also let me modify it again i will remove this curly braces remove this curly braces then you need to remove the return statement also when you are working with if condition if you are having only one single line 
you don't have to use the curly braces directly you can use the return statement but in this case you should not use the return statement also so you can see this in one single line we have written the logic rather than explicitly creating a class that implements comparator we are writing this implementation using lambda expression one more bracket okay and as usual iterate the list of books using for each let me comment the other one the list of books are sorted by author okay so author is fine title is fine what about price in case of price we are having it as primitive data type not as object so how to handle it let us try it out again directly let me go to the method collections dot sort the first parameter is books now if you remove null and just give control space automatically you can see that you will get lambda expression if you want you can take the content assist also if you press enter it will give the lambda expression syntax okay now let me do it all by myself for me always what i do is i know the interface but i don't know the method so directly i will go to the interface copy the parameters in that method so round bracket o1 comma o2 arrow method body now let us write the logic return o1 dot get price the return type over here is double let me give dot control space are you getting any content assist for getting this compare to method no why because this compare to method is available only for inbuilt classes not for primitive types we used a string string is an inbuilt class in string we are having this compare to method this compare to method is from comparable interface string is implementing comparable interface so automatically it will be available let me scroll up to the top string implements comparable the method that is available in comparable is compare to so string explicitly implements compare to method similarly if you are trying to compare two integer objects in that case also integer class implements comparable you don't have to bother about that but in our case we are not using double wrapper class but we are working with double primitive data type so this method is not applicable so what i need to do explicitly i need to compare it into a wrapper class object we can do it in multiple steps first and then finally we will go in for the shortcut now first is i know the return type of o1.get is double i want to convert it into a wrapper class object so i will give it as double price 1 is equal to o1.get price then double price 2 equal to o2.get price whatever you are seeing on your right hand side is a double value a primitive value automatically it is getting auto box to double wrapper class after getting it now we need to do the comparison price 1 dot compare to now see you are getting the content assist which is expecting another double value i can give price 2 and finally add the return statement return price 1 dot compare to price 2 till we added the return statement you were getting any errors do not panic complete it and then check for the errors let me add the return statement again okay all the errors are gone as usual let us try to iterate it okay let me add a dummy println statement here so so sort by price i have given this in multiple steps after running it we will modify it in a simplest possible way let me run this sort by price from the lowest price to the highest price if you want it in the reverse order you need to just replace the variable names that's all price 2 dot compare to price 1 okay rather than writing it like this you can do it in one other way also so let me comment this first i will get the first variable price 1 equal to o1 dot get price now let us write the logic return 
price one dot now we are getting compare to method which is expecting a double value o2 dot get price returns a primitive value when you are passing a primitive value and if it is expecting a double d capital wrapper class value automatically auto boxing happens that is the primitive value will be auto box to double wrapper class object so you don't have to explicitly write it just like what i have done in line number 56 i can call o2 dot get price okay so this is also one other way now let me run this we should get the same output right now i don't want to write it in two lines i want to write it in one single line let us see how this can be done start with the return statement only then you will get the content assist or else you should know all the steps return o1 dot get price the return type over here is double i need to auto box it to double wrapper class so what i will do is i will add a round bracket here in front of it i will add double now this o1 dot get price which is a double primitive value is automatically boxed to double wrapper class object now if i give dot i will get the content assist compared to o2 dot get price okay maybe this time we will do reverse sorting here i will give o1 and here i will give o2 let me run this now the list of books are sorted from the highest price to the lowest price so this time we have written everything in one single line i will comment this also i don't need a return statement so directly let me write it collections dot sort the first parameter is books the second parameter is o1 comma o2 arrow no need of curly braces no need of return statement just copy this part see whatever you have done in multiple lines can be written in one single line using lambda expressions okay i hope this is clear now you might be having a doubt which is better for sorting should i use a class that implements comparator for sorting or should i go in for lambda expressions you should use lambda expressions only why the implementation differs for each and every part that is i want to sort by title the implementation is different i want to sort by author the implementation is different sort by price or category the implementation is different so this means you need to create separate classes for implementing one single method rather you can use lambda expressions if you notice you are using only one single line to provide the implementation if you are creating a class that implements comparator you need to remember all the class names but now it is not required you are providing the implementation in the same place where you are calling the method this is how you sort the elements of a list with comparator using lambda expressions thank you